Now we come to an interesting topic <coughs> called the liquefaction of gases. And, and let us let us say that uh, that there is no difference at the atomic level between a gaseous state and a and a liquid state apart from the fact that the same molecules have come very close together right so so the liquid state is actually an extension of is actually an extension of the gas state extension of the gaseous state okay what is the difference the only difference is the nearness of the molecules and the increased intermolecular forces the the intermolecular forces in the liquid state the intermolecular forces in the liquid state is more than the gaseous state and so is the and so is the nearness of the molecules correct Now, if we observe this, then it is quite easy and and quite easy and understandable to liquefy a gas. Here, I have I have drawn the PV diagram of a gas, and it was it was Andrews. It was Andrews who who first who first plotted PV diagram of CO2 over a range of pressures over a range of pressures okay And later it was found, later it was found that other gases, that other gases, other gases are identical to, are identical, are, are, are quite identical to CO2. So what, what holds good here also holds good for many other gases. Okay. Now he plotted the PV curve at the so he plotted what? At a particular at a constant temperature. If if you if if you're trying to plot a PV curve, it has to be at a constant temperature. And and so what is it? It is an isotherm. Right. Plotted isotherms. Right. So, so here at at much higher temperature, it resembled it resembled the PV diagram of a gas. So let's say at fifty degree centigrade, it was this. He reduced the temperatures and he kept on getting, kept on getting the, the, the isotherm. 
till he came to to 31 degree centigrade 31 degree centigrade and it was something like this it is still a gas okay it is still the gas at about 30.98 So, so what will you do? How, how, how will you how will you plot this? You take a take an amount of gas and you start compressing it. So actually, it is kind of the plotting plotting goes like this, right? Huh? You you take a particular volume, you start compressing it at a particular temperature. Iso uh, iso uh, isotherms, right? This is an isothermal process. So so what happens?